It's Friday again, everyone. Uh, happy Friday. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Just a brief update of the things that have been going on this week at Maiden Early School. Uh, as always, very busy week. Um, lots of information being provided by central government as well. Uh, and hopefully I'll give you a bit more information on that in the course of this PowerPoint. Uh, as always, a quick update on the COVID-19 situation. First of all, we don't know when our return date is going to be. Uh, the Secretary of State has announced that we will be given a two week window uh, to prepare for this. So hopefully we will have some advance notice of that. Um, there's been two cases this week, one year 12 and one year 13. Uh, obviously, we wish them a very, very speedy recovery. Neither of, the, neither of those students have been in school, so therefore there's no contact tracing needed. Um, there's been much in the press this week as well about testing um, and the fact that the lateral flow devices um, that we're using may not be useful. And what's been, what's been given to us by Public Health England and the Department for Education is that the tests are useful to identify asymptomatic cases uh, and we will continue testing of staff and students um, that are in pop-up on a weekly basis. And the aim is, and obviously this is, this is subject to change if the Department for Education decide differently, but that all students will be tested before their full return um, and they will be tested twice. Um, the big difference is that with these tests, the initial idea was not only the mass testing, but a thing called serial testing, where we would test contacts of confirmed cases rather than isolating. Um, this has been put on hold presently, and therefore, if anyone in school is a contact of a confirmed case, rather than being tested daily, they will be expected to isolate for the required 10 days. Ofqual have launched their consultation this week for how grades will be awarded for GCSE, A-level and vocational students. Um, please do take the time to have a look at the consultation. Um, lots of information in there and, and a, an idea of where things may be going. There's an opportunity to give your feedback. Please do do that. It's important that your voices are heard. Um, I sent links out earlier this week, but a simple Google search for Ofqual consultations will take you to that page. And there's two different consultations, one for the GCSE and A-levels and one for the vocational qualifications. A uh, bit of trust news for you. Uh, I've got two slides on the trust. The trustees of Maiden Early and Berkshire Schools Trust are consulting on the proposal to merge between the two organisations. Um, the consultation period will run for four weeks. And if you go to maidenearlytrust.org, you will find much, much more information on this merge. Um, as always, we welcome your feedback um, and the trust would like to hear that from you. And the second bit of trust news is just a reminder that the 27th of January is the Trust CPD Day. And the agenda looks absolutely superb. And this will have a real positive impact on your children because actually what the staff are going to be, be listening to and learning on that day will be able to be directly um, put into their teaching in the classroom. But just a reminder that the 27th of January is a CPD Day and both the virtual classroom, i.e. remote learning, and the pop-up school will be closed to students. You may have seen we've, seen we've done a bit of an appeal for devices and um, if you've got any electronic devices that you no longer use and you're willing um, to donate them to the school i'm sure many students would still benefit from this we've given out well over 100 laptops i think we're approaching 150 now um, to support students with their remote learning we're now targeting those that might not have a laptop rather than you know didn't have anything at all before but we want to try and give the students the very best equipment to, uh, to manage their remote learning. As you will have seen, we're doing a, an enormous amount of live lessons, um, up to upwards of 3,000 Google Meet lessons per week, which is an absolute phenomenal achievement. And actually at this point, I'd like to thank the staff and the students for the work that they're doing uh, on live lessons. It is, it is a new thing for staff. And whilst in March, we weren't geared up for this, we are geared up for this now, but it is still a learning curve. Um, so I do appreciate your support with, with any teething problems that we're still facing. But certainly the feedback we've had so far is absolutely magnificent and, and hats off to everyone who's involved in this. Um, but as I say, if you have got any devices that you would like to donate, um, please do let us know and we will arrange a collection. Thank you. Just a reminder, and these have gone out in a letter as well. We've emailed out the uh, National Online Safety Top 10 Tips. There's some there for parents. Please do pause the video and have a look at what's on there. Um, really important that, that you support your child with regards to online safety. They're, they're spending a lot more time on the internet. Um, and as with that, there, there's always the danger. So it's important that you keep an eye on what they're doing. And of course, there's also tips for students. Please do uh, take the time to have a conversation with your child about this. Um, there's lots of hints there about how to stay safe, how to work online, and of course, how to look after their mental health and well-being as well. Every week, we're asking PE to create a well-being activity. Um, this week was the 10-kilometre run. It was absolutely brilliant to see so many students take, get, taking part in this. 
Um, it could have been accumulated in one go or, or over multiple runs. Please submit your evidence via Google Classroom. And if you're unable to run, try walk it instead. Do it as a family. Um, but let's just get out there and get a bit of fresh air. Absolutely phenomenal achievement from the students this week. Thank you all for taking part. For students in years 9 to 11, we also have access to GCSE Pod, which is an app that can be downloaded onto any device. It's a website as well or onto the phones. Um, and it's an award winning digital content and revision provider. It is absolutely brilliant and it's made up of over 6,000 pods, which are around three to five minutes long um, with some questions in there and it allows them to deliver knowledge in short, sharp bursts and it allows it to make it more manageable. Now, some teachers are setting these. However, we recommend you, that you talk to your child about GCSE pod because it can aid revision. It can aid um, that idea that I talked about with our change of timetable, like 10 minute uh, consolidation. They could maybe find a GCSE pod on it because it doesn't need to be just what the teacher sets. It can be them looking up at it as well. But please do take take a look at that. Some great stuff on there. Mr. Astrup, our attendance officer, is launching a new financial education initiative. Um, we're giving out some cryptic messages this week. It's Move Over Musk. Uh, it's the MES Bull Run 2021. It's going to be coming to you all very, very soon. We're going to encourage as many students as possible um, to take part. And we're really excited about this. It's going to be part of a house competition as well but a real opportunity to understand financial markets. That's the end of the update for this week. And please do stay safe over the weekend. Have a good weekend, of course. Um, and we will see you all on Monday, be it virtually uh, or be it in person at the pop-up. Take care, everyone.